you can visit many places. Abrama Bhuvanalo Kapu Namavati Nonjuna. Mamu Pitya Punajama. Krishna says from the highest place in the material world down to the lowest place. They are all places of misery. Some people say, look at Bulgaria. So much misery. And then others say, no, Poland has more misery. <laughs> then the next one says, no, 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 Taiwan has more misery. Others say, no, more misery you have in China. <laughs> Everywhere is misery. Janma mitu javyati. We are in the place of misery. This is Mrityu Loka, the place, this is the planet of death. That's why you have so many cemeteries everywhere. <laughs> Christian cemetery, Jewish cemetery, Muslim cemetery. Everywhere you have cemetery. Atheist cemetery. <laughs> Only no Hindu cemetery. They go, the ashes go in the wind, bye-bye. <laughs> huh? So, Mityulo, Martyaloka. Martyaloka. This is the place. We come and go, come and go, come and go. Now you can choose where you want to go. What about Bangkok? Adelaide, Christchurch, Tomsk, Siberia, <laughs> huh? Burgo, Burgas. Burgas. <laughs> yeah. You also go to Burgas. So many choices we have. But nothing changes by going anywhere. You see, we are who we are, and we have to learn our lessons. For example, we want to improve our state of being, and we get all kinds of funny ideas how to improve our state of being. <laughs> we can change our hairstyle. Oh, there's so many hairstyles. You can look like a poodle, you can look like a skinhead, you can look like a rasta. Many hairstyles we have. So you can choose your spirit. Oh, you can look like a punk. Huh? Eight colors in the hair. Hmm? Many varieties. With mustache, without mustache. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So we try to add some spice of life to us by changing our hairstyles. By changing the perfumes we put on our body. Maybe I'll be a little bit better with a hundred dollar French water. Uh, Now you smell like uh, the public bathroom after they clean it. <laughs> some, some oil there. <laughs> Can't smell it. the smells. <laughs> mm. Yes, so many variety. Everything your body. And you can also do the gym job. You know the gym job? Uh, for hours. Uh, uh, running, 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 running on a little plastic tube. No? You can do the gym job and then you can go. <laughs> Did I improve? Is it a little bit more now? No. 
<laughs> so, so many places to visit, so many things to do to improve your physical stuff. But you have to accept the way God made you is just perfect. You have to accept what He made there. Now another thing is that you can improve your being, supposed to be, by maybe taking some substance. Maybe we can go to the pharmacy. How many pills you have? Legal pills, then there's the illegal pills, hmm? all kinds of pills. Or you can go in the nature. You don't even have to go to a pharmacy. You can go in the nature. There's all kinds of strange things. But all these things you take, they affect you, but they don't give you anything. Just like you go anywhere in this world, accumulate name, fame, in the end you will always be the same. A soul searching for love. There is no love pill. Of course, the Viagra company may disagree with me. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no pill which fills your heart, your need of love. But you can get, you can, you can smoke one thing, drink another thing. Every culture has something like for their parties, no? no? They go a little bit bananas, no? And people. It's very dangerous, you know, because you get addicted to certain things and you cannot stop it. I read one marijuana study. <coughs> you know, we were brought up, marijuana is a soft drug. Oh, 20 year marijuana study of Hamburg University. After you read that, Anybody who's smoking marijuana, you really think, Phew, am I sorry for you? <laughs> am I sorry for you? In that study it said, you get sure depression, you, you ruin your, your greatest force in life, the readiness to do something. When you're just about ready to do something, you end up not doing it. So, very, very strange. Why should that be there? Then you lose your memory. But the worst thing is the depression. You don't have any more balance. And it says in the study that after only three months of, of smoking marijuana, you are permanently affected for the rest of your life. That's how serious this stuff is. And people argue, oh, it may be doing good to me. Maybe I'm having a nice flying experience without paying airplane ticket. Huh? I'm flying now. Oh. You always crash after the flight. So it's, it's such serious things. We are totally underestimating the, the secondary effects of all these things. Okay, maybe there is a level, the drugs may even be healing. Yeah, why not? When I have a big toothache and the dentist says, I have to take out your, your tooth, and he comes with this big clamp and he asks me, you want anesthesia? He said, yes, please. Please put some anesthesia. <laughs> so, but the anesthesia is a very heavy drug. No? They, have, they have researched it a lot, they have, but it's a heavy drug nevertheless. Well, drama? 
kids upstairs fixing some luggage, shall I call him? So, we, we want to improve things, we want to get somewhere. But what God has given to us, this is our normal consciousness. This is where we can feel love, where we can feel inspiration for sacrifice, where we can just be normal. <laughs> where, we, where we can be normal means normal with God. If God wants you with Him, that is His invitation. You don't, you don't need anything for reaching God except His grace. There's no way, there's no way that you can get in connection with God by taking a pill or by injecting some substance or by doing anything like that. No way. There's no way, no way, no way. But you can easily get totally sidetracked and lost in this world. The world is so full of places and things to do. It's like a silly question. It's like with how many people you can have sex. That's a stupid question, no? But sex life does it change? Well, it degrades you if you have more than one child with different women. That means you may go and be in a big mess. And that's usually what happens when there's sex life. Or you may say, no, 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 I have sex with women who are taking anti-conceptive. Then they get, they get cancer. Or you get AIDS, and then you distribute AIDS. I mean, come on, come on this is, look at this, this is not a joke. In, in this way we get, we, we have so much trouble. And then it doesn't end there. I'm sorry, I don't want to contaminate the atmosphere, but you can also have sex with the same sex, you can have sex with animals, you can have sex in, in the sex shop. You, I mean, all kinds of stupid things, no? I mean, what they do in the world of sex, it just shows you, you don't want sex. You don't, you don't have not come here to look for sex. Maybe, maybe you want to have a nice family and have nice children. That's a totally different issue. I'm not talking about this here. But you're not here to be a sex addict. Hmm. What the heck is this? This is nothing. It's just, it's just a playboy, a playboy embarrassment. And you can see it. So it's such a double standard. People like to see naked girls, but they don't like their own daughter to be seen by others. Uh, so it's, it's all double standards. Well, spiritual Master he told us, it's so wonderful, so wonderful if you just say, I do it the divine way. No problem. All, everything is finished there. Because we, we, we don't do it the divine way, then we have the trouble. Real trouble. <laughs> I mean, hardly we see the real trouble. The real trouble you only get from the newspapers. Huh? Man raped woman, then killed the woman and killed himself. Hmm? Man discovered his wife with another lover, killed all of them. Hmm? Woman killed the child she had from somebody she didn't love. I mean, the, the real story of the sex business is all killing people. And that you don't know, the, 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 the harsh details, like snuff and things like that. Ugh. This is nothing for gentlemen. 
this this world this is this addiction is not for gentlemen so you don't get a better life by having more sex with more people you don't you get a big trouble that's a fact karmically physically mentally everything you get in trouble with drugs you get in trouble with gamblings you get in trouble when you eat meat why didn't you just accept it and get out of trouble <coughs> that's all it is to it but you like the trouble, no? You try to enjoy the trouble. And you think, I can counteract the trouble with some other thing. No. Trouble is trouble. And trouble produces more trouble. <laughs> you know, I'm very, very tired of preaching about the four regulative principles. Completely tired. Again, 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 same topic. But, you know, it belongs to our life like not touching the electricity. No, nobody goes and takes, let me try the two poles. <laughs> Maybe next time it's going to be better, try again. <laughs> But taking drugs is just like taking these two coats and, and shaking up there with a good 220 wall shock. And if you are weak hearted, you may die. Or maybe people die when they're taking intoxication. So I just, I just want to say Prabhupada is a great guy. He's so great. He told us, don't do this nonsense. Just don't do it. What do you lose? Nothing! You only win. It's a win, win, win. That's all. You lose nothing if you give up nonsense. And the only reason we are still attached to nonsense is because we associate with people who have nothing higher. When you associate with people who are absorbed in something higher, then, then it becomes, you feel ridiculous. Running away from Krishna. No, don't run away. There's nowhere to run, my dear. But it's not that Krishna wants you against your will. So therefore he gives you all this illusion facility. If you, if you want to remain in the illusion, he'll help you. Okay, that's what you want to have here. Go. until you feel some sadness and you want to go, until you want to be with the truth and you want to love the truth and you want to serve the truth and you cry for the truth, until you reach there. Krishna's crying for us, you know. And you, when you do anything wrong in life, Krishna's crying for you. Who made this beautiful garden? The other people. Oh. <laughs> Spring of sunflowers. And the Indian style, no? No. <laughs> South Indian style. <laughs> you can take it on your job today. <laughs> they, will, they will be very surprised. <laughs> you come that way to the 
in the office. <laughs> so, you know, actually, Prabhupada came to give us. He came to give, 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 give. But there are some barriers. For you to get all the gifts Prabhupada came to give, you have to open the doors of your heart. He has given, he has given us even the highest gift of Jnana Sunya Bhakti. You know what's Jnana Sunya Bhakti? It means the Bhakti which is not flawed by the tendency of I want to know. You know, we, are, we pride ourselves. I want to know. I want to know about this. I want to know about that. I really want to know. I really find out I'm a big knower. I'm a big knower, enjoyer. Jnana Sunya Bhakti, no. You don't want to know anymore. You just want to love. It's all love. When your knowledge inquiry comes, it is not appreciated. Like somebody says, I love you. He says, I want to know how is it that you love me? What are you going to answer to that? Uh, if you don't accept that love for God is beyond knowledge, then you will not get love for God. You, your doors are closed. And that's one of the gifts of Prabhupada. Prabhupada gives us so many gifts. Gifts, 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 gifts. Unlimited gifts. Imagine, right? Imagine. He has given us the gifts of love. So many. Sometimes you get touched in your heart by, by reading one sentence of another person, you know, the, like the famous sayings of, of people, no? And they have a collection of famous sayings, wow. When you hear something, you say, and you gave, go, incredible. He said that. That's what he's asserting, that we should, like Srila Srila Madhu, he had one of those beautiful sayings, he says, mind your own business, surrender. Mm -hmm. You always poke your nose into everything. No? <coughs> the Muslim, <coughs> this, the politicians, mind your own business, surrender. Your only business you have, surrender. But you want to know about this gossip and that gossip and, and, and what about homosexuality and what about this subject and what about the, uh, the, the person who didn't chant and the, what about the person who didn't read and what about the person who read too much and the, what about the person who, who speculated <laughs> about this one and what about that one. Hey, 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 put your nose on your own thing, you know. Mind your own business, surrender. That was, you know, you know it's, it's, it's heavy because it cuts out all your nonsense space. Huh? So you want to have a nice time, you want to enjoy? No, mind your own business and surrender. Surrender to God, no. Surrender to the, to the divine, surrender to the Lord, surrender to love. Surrender. What other business you have? You, if your guru tells you you have this business, but otherwise. So no need to go anywhere except to this devotional service you have to do. No need to take anything except prasadam and maybe some medicine if the doctor tells you. 
and if you believe the doctor. <laughs> because there's many doctors, they just sell pills. I never take a pill practically. I started Conscious Doctors. It's a nice program. We already have some clinics and everything. I started this. I was so sick and tired of the cheating in the medical profession. And the worst of the cheatings of the medical profession is to say, yes, you can eat meat, you'll be okay. Huh? Only then when you have all the tumors in your body and all they said, I stop the meat. Huh? Now stop the meat, why? Well, because you got it from, from the meat. Oh, why didn't you tell me that before? So the beginning of the, when I started uh, Conscious Doctors, that was a, a subdivision of the Spoon Revolution, uh, I told, I will not accept you as a conscious doctor if you are not promoting vegetarianism. So we started then gaining some very nice doctors. Also, for anybody to be a volunteer in the House of Wisdom, you have to endorse vegetarianism, you have to be a vegetarian, otherwise we are not even interested in your, in your, in your free help. So it's, it's a question of values. You have to have some values in life. You can't just go along with all this nonsense, what everybody says. You have to have some standard and values. And Krishna has been very merciful with me. Like I tell you, we have clinics now. Dental clinics, uh, acupuncture clinics. Every, every type of medicine, even surgery, we have also. That's an absolute necessity. There's nothing else which can be done. And the people who do this seva, they, they, they don't even charge the devotees. good thing about Krishna Consciousness, it's all about free, loving relationship. You want to participate? Fine. You don't want to? We are sad. But all we can do, we can be sad. Or he or she doesn't want to participate. What to do? Little sad. Srila Prabhupada is given to us. Pretty amazing, you know. He's given everything to us. A, a new life, if you could say. A new life. Almost a new body. Well, <laughs> not that much, but uh, we didn't need one yet either. Well, but give us the new body, and it'll be a spiritual body if you really follow what Prabhupada said. And then Prabhupada will come with his latest gift for us, the the eternal spiritual body. You know, we need a spiritual body to reach the world of God, and we have a potentially spiritual body, but it's not manifested right now in this moment. Just like your physical body manifested by the sweet will of God. And what kind of a body has given to you? No? Handsome, intelligent, staunch. Can't really complain about our bodies. Because each one has a karmic, karmic specifics, no? One is a musician, the other is not. 
everybody has its particular special gifts of God. Srila Prabhupada gave us Sanatan Dharma. Sanatan Dharma, the eternal joyful occupation. <coughs> That's what Dharma is. It's a, it's a way for perfection, how to behave to reach perfection. But when it's called Sanatana Dharma, it is called the eternal joyful occupation. Any trouble with this, anybody? Eternal occupation. Not only in this body, already next body, next body, or whatever bodies you may have, material body or spiritual body, depending, but Sanatana Dharma will always be valid. Otherwise it wouldn't be Sanatana. Sanatana means eternal. It's not propaganda. 